My name is Scott Thompson. I am the chair of the Department of Physiology and I am a uh, professor in the Department of Physiology and also in the Department of Psychiatry. My lab is focused on trying to understand the biological basis of depression, what goes wrong in the brain of a patient who's suffering from depression. And it's our hope that if we understand more about what's wrong with the brain or what changes in that brain, that we can offer better therapeutic alternatives for how to treat depression. My lab made a very surprising and exciting observation about the actions of serotonin about two years ago. What we discovered is that serotonin actually strengthens the normal excitatory communication that's taking place between brain cells. We think the reason that serotonin reuptake inhibitors, which are the mainline treatment for depression, work is because they act to strengthen that communication between cells, essentially waking the brain up. Building on that work, what we found is that the excitatory connections in rat and mouse models of depression actually become weaker through chronic stress. And what serotonin uptake inhibitors are doing is, we think, restoring the normal excitatory strength between brain cells. So we think then that selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors like Prozac, although they work very well, they work very slowly. They take weeks to months to take effect in patients. And what we've done is come up with other ways that more directly affect the strength of excitatory communication. And we think that these drugs will be more effective and more quickly acting than regular selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The work is very expensive. It takes a lot of equipment, it takes a lot of animals to make the work possible, but most importantly, it takes a lot of people to get this work done. We are a training institution here. We train graduate students, PhD students, medical students. All those students go on to then uh, develop their own lab, but while they're working with me, they are working on these projects, helping to develop these drugs and, and come up with new cures and treatments for depression. It's a tale of two cities world right now. We have some of the most exciting science going on across all disciplines of science really, but certainly in neuroscience and brain research. But right now the NIH is, is more strapped for funds than it's ever been. We're very frustrated right now. We have this new class of compounds that we'd like to push forward for treating depression and we're uh, waiting in line at the NIH to get the money that we need to do our research. The quicker we can get our work done, the quicker we'll be able to get our drugs into clinical trials to find out if they work actually in humans as well as they seem to work in rats and mice, and, and uh, I'm very excited about that possibility. I can't wait to find out the results.